What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Chicago Cubs franchise here on MLB The Show 22. Huge couple games for us here today. Did a little mic test as well. Yep, we look good. We look good, guys. So happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend here. It is Friday night. What's up, Jaws? Jaws attacks in the house. Kind of set this thing up for you guys here tonight. We've got two games to win. The Nationals are 84 and 76. We're 83 and 77. If we get this win with Blake Snell, we will tie with them with one game left. Which means that's really the de facto elimination game to determine on who's going to make it to the wild card. Number two team. The Padres have already made it to wild card one. We're fighting for wild card number two, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hectic hectic night for sure. We got we gotta just like just destroy them, you know. We just gotta kill the Nationals here today. That's that's what we have to do. What is up, Undisputeds in the house? I like your logo, Undisputed. That's pretty sweet. It's got that black and gold, and they're like black and yellow. Is that black and yellow? Black and yellow. Black and yellow. <laughs> So that's kind of the situation here tonight. We've got Giolito, 13-9, and we're taking kind of a risk throwing Blake Snell out there, but he's he's been riding the bench for a little bit. We've had David Booth kind of taking that role away from him. He's had 71 innings pitched. And, you know, 4-9, 1-3-8, why not go with the wily veteran Blake Snell at this point? That's kind of where my thought process is in all this. Go with this guy and, you know, see if he can win us a big game. Get us to get us to game 162. That's what we got to get to here tonight. It says, thanks, man. I'm a huge Cubs fan. Well, me too. Me too. Same here. Go Cubbies. That's what it's all about, man. Look at those uniforms. Look, look at those uniforms. Come on. Those are the best uniforms in all of baseball. Come on. It's not even close. Some people would say the Yankees. Some people say the Phillies. You know, Tigers are up there. Tigers are my team. But Cubs are my number two. I grew up watching the Cubs on WGN. Listening to Harry Carey and his son, <laughs> Harry Carey Jr. <laughs> it's weird hearing Snell being called a wily veteran. Yeah, you know, it is what it is, though, you know. He's uh, he's up there. Steve Stone, that was the name I was looking for. Right? Steve Stone? Let me look at this. It's Steve Stone, right? Steve Stone. announcer yeah steve stone announcer yep man it's been a while since he was doing cubs games though all right guys blake snell on the mound we've got our everyday lineup here we've got madrigal horner up the middle devers at third a little bit of a cold streak there but he should hit giolito hard today dh from mill we got Contreras, addison in left brennan davis in center so we've got pierce off the bench chris bryant wow hmm. that's tough so i'm gonna kind of i want to leave this up to you guys a little bit here we got to get some we got to get chris bryant in the game don't we, we got to get chris bryant in the game but where do you fit him in at that's that's a tough call maybe we sit the rookie you know we get chris bryant in left field get some more pop in that in that five slots you know, get Contreras down a little bit. I think that this is a this is a good lineup here. Two lefties right in the middle, Devers and Rizzo. Yeah. Timothy Pierce would be a nice little start there against uh, G. Lito, the righty, but, you know, there's not really a place to put him unless you bench him for Rizzo. But in this type of game, I kind of want the I kind of want the, the, the three Musketeers here. I, I want Contreras, Rizzo, and Bryant to kind of take that, take that step for us, that big step. Let's see what you guys are saying and in the chat jaws attack best unis are mariners sunday mariners sunday changed my mind not not bi not biased m's are totally <laughs> yeah right yeah right so um hey i don't know how this is gonna sound with the video capture going Yeah, we're definitely going to need to turn that sound down. Way too loud. And now, your 2024. Let's keep testing this out, see where we're at. Cubs. 
That's pretty good. That that little change works. We could go down just a little bit further. And I think we'll be all right. How about that? That should be good right there, guys. What do you think about that? Think that sounds good? All right, so Blake Snell out on the mound here. Let's take a look at his stats in full. He got 200 Ks, 74 walks. It hasn't been, it has not been a good season for Blake Snell, all things considered. We brought him in here as a, as a pricey veteran guy, but hopefully, hoping to get like a really good season out of him. But it's been kind of mediocre. All right, guys, let's get into it. We got Reggie Wells. I don't know who Reggie Wells is. He must be just a guy that uh, they drafted a few seasons ago. We're going to start him off with a fastball. That's a strike. Ooh, that's a called strike, too? Wow, look at where that was. He called that a strike. Wilson says he wants to go back up in there. All right, we're going to trust our catcher. There you go. There you go. Live right there, 96. Let's go, baby. Look at look at that. You can feel the crisp autumn air out at Wrigley. You can feel it. You can feel it in the atmosphere here. Ooh, good take. Good take. Good take, Reggie Wells. I don't think we're going to get you on the slider again, but I think I could get you the slider low and away. A little soft throw there, though. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a pretty good take, man. I'm gonna I'll give you that. He's probably thinking fastballs coming here. Let's just give it to him. High down the middle. Oh, blue. You gave us the one before, but you're not gonna give us that. Come on now. Look at that. Look at that location. All right, Wilson. Let's step off here. I don't know where you want this. What are you thinking here? Fastball, right? Just challenge him. Challenge his ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> Adam D says, change up inside corner might get him out in front. All right. We gave him a couple fastballs. Let's go that circle change inside and low, right? Yeah, let's try that. Let's just give it to him. Let's try. Oof, good take. All right, leadoff man gets a walk. Start off good, and Reggie Wells somehow draws the walk. All right, so Victor Robles. This guy got a little bit of speed. 47 speed, 70 steel. Live right there. Man, so he's pretty... He, that dude's pretty patient. Reggie Wells, a little patient little guy. You gotta kind of keep him honest, though, I think. Just keep him honest. Give him a little look. Give him a little look. It's a little, little looky. Little look-see. All right, that's going to be three straight fastballs here, Wilson. I don't know about this with Victor Robles. He's going, he's going. Oh, he's going. Oh, a little pop-up. Oh, that, oh, get to the bag, guys. Somebody get to the bag. Man, if that would have been a line drive, it would have been perfect. Let's take a look at that lineup. They got Benintendi, DH in. They got DJ Stewart, Odor, Mancini. Brady House, Kiebert Ruiz, and Lane Thomas. How is this team how is this team better than us? What is that? Alright, I kinda don't want to start Benintendi off with a fastball. I just I don't know. Not feeling that. Zach's in the house. Adam D says, I want to know what Wells' plate vision is. That was an impressive take. Well, let's find let's find out here. No, we don't want game log. We want uh, player stats. Reggie Wells. He's got 51 vision. <laughs> uh, he is... How old is he? I wish it could tell you. I wish it told you how old he was. That's interesting. I want to see where he's from. I don't. He wasn't one of our players that uh, we brought over from the Braves dynasty. Bradley Braves. I should be specific. Not the Atlanta Braves. Oof. Nice. He's 25. Oh, so he's real? Is he real, Jaws? Or did you see that somewhere on screen? Ooh, that's nasty. Look at Blake Snell. I wouldn't give it to him again, though. 
But Wilson wants that circle change nice and low. Ooh. All right, Benny. Maybe I can get... Yeah, there you go. Good idea, Wilson. Good idea. Ah, get there, Suzuki. Get there, Seiya. All right, so, hey, guys. So what happens here tonight is if we lose this game, if we lose game one, there's no point in playing game two. So really, if we win, you guys are getting two games out of this. Two game stream here tonight. If we win, of course. If we win. I don't I don't like this Wilson. No. Snell's kind of laboring just a little bit here in this inning. Oh, Nico. Just take the easy out. Oh, Rizzo with the scoop. You want some ice cream with that scoop? All right, Lucas Gilito 296. 1-1 one, one whip. Very good numbers here. You know, it's funny. He's completely the reverse of Blake Snell. Like the record, 13 and 9. Snell's like 9 and 12. His ERA is way under Snell at 440. He's a 296. But the strikeouts to walks actually kind of similar with him and him and Snell, so it's just kind of the the tale of two different seasons for two different types of pitchers. Snell's more that control guy. Giolito's got the movement. Mickey Mads. Pop up there, left field. The play. I think that's Lane Thomas out there in left. We gotta see a little bit more pitches. The thing with me in live streams is I feel like I gotta like, I gotta talk to you guys and I gotta play the game. So that's it's always tougher to do that than it is like just sitting here saying nothing. <laughs> and just play the game by yourself. Right, he's got to throw something a little break in here. Nope, two straight fastballs high and in. We're not ready for that. So he's probably going to go like slider low and away here or something. Something breaking off. Yep. Slider away. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we didn't want it, so he's probably coming fastball in again. Nope, fastball out. May have missed. I don't know. We'll give him credit, though. Probably want that slider out again. Oof, fastball in. That's tough. You're, you're, thinking, you're thinking soft and out, and he goes hard in. So now he gave us that hard in. He's probably setting us up for that slider one more time. Oh, fastball down the middle. Good job by Nico here. Worked the count. This is a six-pitch at bat. Gotta be careful here. There you go. Good job, Nico. Good job, Nico. Come on, baby. Base hit. Ah. Look at that PCI. Good timing. What is Snell and Giolito's FIP? <laughs> I would do they have that in here? I've never looked. All right, big man Devers, 243 has way more power hitting against righties, but wow, look at the average difference, 243 from 317. He's going to give me something right down the middle, isn't he? Oh. Fips in the stats. I would like to see that. Let's see what your fip is. 313. Fielding independent pitching. 313. But what's up with that though? 296 ERA, 313. I feel like, shouldn't that be lower? I guess I need to school myself a little bit more on, on uh, FIP. Snell's FIP. He's a 4 4, but his FIP is a 3 6 1. So his fielders. Not helping him out too much. Ah, in the shift. All right, so, hey, that's an 11, no, 12-pitch inning here for Giolito. We got to do a little bit better. I kind of, I, I like to keep myself around 20, so just kind of like what Blake Snell is here at 19. Like, he really labored. 
would be a good spot to get Giolito in there, I think. So the Cubs defense are screwing him over. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, man, look at that. Dude, he's got the curveball working right now. The first time that he's busted that out, he got Benintendi to take a look at it. He got... Ooh, okay, so blue, blue likes high and inside tonight. Yup, he likes high and inside. Take a look where this is. Remember those first couple strikes on Reggie Wells? Look at this. Yeah, that one got in there. The other ones maybe not so much. We'll try. We'll try high and outside. Let's see if it's just that spot. Okay, but you actually got to hit it though. <laughs> you actually got to hit it. All right, uh, Rugi. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to really mess with him inside. Really don't want to mess with him inside. He wants the curveball. I think he's gonna just drill this curveball. I don't. I don't want to mess with that. Ooh, we missed our spot. Missed our spot. But how about we drop that curveball on him now? Two one pitch. Probably thinking we need a strike. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Rafi. Bingo. Out number two. Cubs defense screwing over the starters just like real life. <laughs> you know, how crazy is it, though? How crazy is that? I'm surprised that most of you, like, nobody's saying anything in the comment section at all. The Cubs, like, do you guys, do you guys know this? <laughs> We traded for Framil Reyes like well before the Cubs did in real life. <laughs> Months before they traded him in real life. Traded for him. Or acquired him on waivers, I should say. But we traded for him. How crazy is that? <laughs> of all the players you could possibly acquire in a franchise series, like the real team goes out and does it. I'm glad you noticed it, Zach, because not many people did. I'm like, what? What is going on? Nobody's, nobody's saying anything about this. This is kind of crazy. There's no love happening here. What? What? What's the going on? Which means you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen then. The Cubs in 2024. They're going to get Rizzo, and they're going to get Bryant. They're going to get him back. And then this series is going to go down as one of the greatest ever. <laughs> All right, we're hitting a jack. Oh, come on. Come on, Gio. Giolito. Small Gio. That's what we wanted right there. Get over your head. Get over your head. Come on. Come on, Riz. That's a big time double right there. That's a big knock. That's what we want right there, guys. Throw it right down the middle. Boosh. You got no read on that. That got lost in the lights. All right, KB. Look at this. We got Rizzo Bryant. Four or five. Just like old times. Good take. Good take. Tony two bags. <laughs> yeah. All right, KB. I'm thinking some, you want to you want to throw me something low and out, don't you? Oh, that was it. Look at where we were. That was it. He just pulled the string. He's thinking fastball high and in, aren't you? Dang it, that circle change, dude. Man, he's got us. He's got us off all time. Rec oh, I keep forgetting to change his number. God dang it. We'll do it after we'll we'll do it after this game. Change his number back to 17. Hell time. I'm not ready. What are you gonna do here? I like that circle change. There you go. Good take. Good take, good take. Come on, KB. 2 2. Give me something good. Ooh, another circle change. Somehow, st st somehow stuck with it. Stayed with it. It's 
been deadly, that's for sure. Oh, get through. Oh, that's a great play. Chris Bryant going to leg it out, though. All right, well, hey, I mean, that's a good way to pull that, though, to pull that high and inside pitch after a couple circle change. All right, here we go. Look at all the, did you see all the Strasburg jerseys? <laughs> In the stands. All right, big Franimal. Come on, baby. Come down as one of the greatest Cubs in franchise series history right here. Come on. Oh, don't swing at that. Garbage, what are you doing? Goldie, what are you doing there? What are you doing? I vaguely remember you calling Josh Donaldson to the Twins back in the day. Dude, I... <laughs> I'll talk to you in a second about that. I gotta get. I, we gotta get these runs across. Oh, late. You gotta get that. That's a great pitch to hit. Look at that. Come on, Reyes. Oh, the circle change. Dude, he's just tossing that thing right down the middle. You get so hyped up for it. You're like, ooh, juicy. Come on, Seiya. Yeah, Adam D, he knew it. Circle change is ready. Circle change time. Gotta wait, Goldie. I know, I know, I know. It's so tough, though. You want to jump at it. Pretty girl gives you her number. You're like, you want to jump on it right then and there, but you can't. You gotta wait. You gotta hold off. Make her sweat a little bit. You gotta wait. Can't text her right then and there. You can't call her right then and there. You gotta wait. <laughs> oh man, come on, Saya. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a base knock. Let's go, boys. Look at Chris Bryant. He's rounding. Oh, dude, Rizzo, you gotta go, man. You gotta go. We get. We gotta score you right now. Oh, Odor doesn't throw it. He didn't even see Rizzo, I think. There you go. We got to wait. Good job, Seiya. Wait, 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 wait. Boom. Opposite field approach. Nice job. Nice, nice job. Batting in. The catcher. Wilson. John Perez. Oh, dang it high and inside pitch so yeah about that um josh donaldson thing how about the fact that matt harvey do you remember that series the red series i had the video like pre-recorded like i was days i was like a week ahead in my videos in my recordings and at the trade deadline we acquired matt harvey <laughs> i'm like the reds need some veteran presence and they need to take a chance on a dude and the Mets are just like fed up with Matt Harvey so let's just do it and then it literally happened like days later so stupid it's crazy we were talking about Jamer Candelario back in 2017 in a Cubs or a uh, Tigers franchise I tell you man it's just it's been weird it's been very strange Dang it. We could do a lot of damage right here, but Wilson's going to strike out. We weren't really even close on that slider. Brandon Davis has been hitting really well, dude. 294 this year. It's really a, kind of a breakout can. I think next season. So year four of this franchise, I think he's going to go nuts. I think. Maybe not, though. Sometimes guys in the show like they have a really good year and then they fall off a little bit so maybe year five <laughs> good take but yeah you get you get josh donaldson mixed in there it's just it's just goofy man it's just weird stuff good job good job all right so we got to be waiting for that circle change he's throwing it one time in this ab really making him work there we go. Circle change, but that's hard to lay off. See something floating in there, you just 
Is it going to be a strike or not? I'll try to pound one past us here, isn't he? Nope. Nope. A walk would be huge. But Nick Madrigal up next. Not a lot of pop in his bat. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're going to challenge it right here. Come on, baby. Come on. We got to score. We got to score. Let's go. Brennan Davis. Huge. Two RBI single right back up the middle. Boom. Circle change. We're waiting for it. Brennan Davis continues his hot season, man. 294. That contact against righty is definitely going to be going up, up, up in the offseason. And Madrigal swings the first pitch, and that'll do it. But the damage has been done. Three Zippo on a clutch game right here, man. Crucial game. And now our job is simple. we got to shut these guys down, man, for the rest of the game. Just got to do it. Got to do it. So no matter what, I mean, it, you have to sweep. You have to sweep them. We have to win game one. We have to win game two, or we don't make it. It's kind of a sucky situation, but it's the situation nonetheless. All right, what are we thinking here, Wilson? Here, fastball in. You got it. Ah. Oh, he probably wants that fastball in again, doesn't he? A pop up. Nico. With the catch. Already calling it game over, says Zach. You guys want to have a little fun in the chat? Huh? You want to have a little fun? Alright, so this next inning, we'll do a little contest. Ooh. All right, so the next thing we'll do a little contest. All right, we'll have a little fun in this in this chat here tonight, so that you're not just watching, watching. Oh shit! You're not just watching this game and Cubs here with the lead. You're thinking the game's over, right? So bottom three, we'll do a little contest. What the contest is worth, I'm not sure yet. What do you guys want it to be worth? We can talk about it. Prospects. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can be one. Oh, here's... No! Okay, you got to gun him here, Saya. You got to gun him here, Saya. Damn it. This this Reggie Wells guy. This, Reg, this Reggie Wells. He's a beast. He gets on with a walk. He's got an RBI single. Like, this was off the plate. Holy crap. talk to Blake here a little bit, you know, calm him down, say, hey, Blake, how's a wife, how's the kids, they doing good, you, are they watching you tonight, you know, no pressure or anything, no pressure, it's not like, you know, if you, if you suck here, we probably won't trade you next year, <laughs> all right, strike three, you Bastard. Slightly, oh, you want to jam him, eh, huh? One ball, two strikes. Well, now he's thinking about it. Come on, KB. Come on, KB. Oh, is he, he's got a little big of a lead there, huh? So you think, let's see, channel points? That's not a bad idea, channel points. Channel points would be, I think that would be a good idea. Just getting a getting a prospect would be a little too easy, I think. I think you're out of something there, Jaws. Nope, that's a ball. Well, Blake Snell's kind of that, that slider, man. I, we got to get that slider working for him here. Got to find a way to to be throwing that for strikes, for outs. We got to get that working for him. There you go. That's going to help. That's going to help that pitch confidence for sure. All right. Reggie Wells cuts the lead down by two now after this base knock past 
Rizzo. All right, so for contests, guys, for contests. All right, so with Nico Horner up, we've got, let's see the box score here. We've got Horner, Devers, Rizzo, Bryant, Reyes. So I want you to put in the chat their next at bat. So this will be their next at bat. So you need to like put, put this in the put this in the chat as quickly as possible because Nico is up right now. I could be first pitch swinging, but who's gonna get a base hit for let's say so for fifty channel points, fifty channel points in their next at bat. This I mean they might go over, right, and then you don't get it. But in their next at bat, it's got to be an official at bat. So they do have to make an out, or they got to get a hit. If they get a walk, it doesn't count. So they'll push it to like the fifth inning or something if they get up again. So post in the chat who you think is going to get the next base hit. Well, let me say this: Do you think that who's your guy that's going to get the next base hit here? So do you think Devers in his next at bat is going to get a hit? If he gets a hit, you get fifty points. If Rizzo gets a hit, you get fifty points. So on and so forth. So Horner, Devers, Rizzo, Bryant, Reyes, Suzuki, Contreras, Davis. You can pick from all nine. You can even pick Madrigal if you want to. But that's going to be worth 50 points. 50 channel points if you get get that right. But it's got to be in their next at-bat. And this is going to kind of hurt because then you, 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 you guys will end up getting really mad at me. <clears throat> Be like, Goldie, why'd you swing at that? <laughs> Why'd you swing at that? Why didn't you swing at this one? It's right down the middle. Yeah. Oh, Nico got a base hit. Look at Adam D. Adam D got 50 points. Just like that. Nico Horner. Boosh. Look at Adam D. He got 50 channel points just like that. <laughs> All right, so Zach has Madrigal. Jaws didn't pick. Jaws picked Devers, so he's got to. So Devers got to get a hit right here for for Jaws. No, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. I didn't mean like which Cub is gonna get the next hit. I just meant pick a guy to get a hit. That's really what I meant. So. If you got Devers here, then he's got to he's got to get a knock. That was probably a good one to swing at, but I want to kind of I want to pick I want to be good to you guys. You know, I want to get a good pitch to hit. I want to just swing at everything. Don't want to just swing at everything here. We got two strikes on us. We got to be careful here. We got to do it for Jaws. Ooh, 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 ooh! Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! It would have been a good one to go on, but, you know, sometimes these catchers just have freaking lasers. It bounces off the brick like that. Come on, Rafi. Oh, just a little early. That would have been a big one. Come on, Rafi. Oh, do it for Jaws. Oh, no! <laughs> no! The circle changed. Jaws, I'm sorry. Do it for me, Daddy Devers. God dang it. Oh, we just came out just too, too early on the swing. Dang it. I'm sorry, Jaws. Ooh, that's a good one. Well, we'll run another contest, though. We'll run another contest. We didn't have very many people uh, bet. So, Zach had uh, Madrigal. Ah, dang it, dude. So, what's, what's swinging at that crap, dude? 0-2. Oh, so, we had one strike. Okay. One we took a look at. One we swung at. Oh, base. Oh, you. I hate this guy. I hate Odor. Can't stand him, dude. All right, here comes Bryant, 304 batting average. Oh, 
Oh, fallen. Shoot. All right, well. <laughs> Don't play. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. Blame Lucas Giolito for being good. It's actually not a, it's not a bad way to think about stuff, Joss. Although I do hold myself to a high standard. I do. It's the athlete in me. You gotta hold yourself to a high standard. Here goes Nikki. Good throw. Good toss. Alright, so uh, contest here for the next inning. Zach's pick of Nick Madrigal still holds. So he can play in the next contest when the Cubs come up to bat. Oh, Nico! Ah! Close. I was really hoping for that. Really, really hoping for that. I also think I'm on a little bit of a delay here, too. So I kind of want to... Give you guys enough time to answer some some of those questions. Ooh, good pitch. Good pitch. I think we gotta go slider here again. How did you take that? There you go. There you go, Blake. There you go. Get Rugi out in front on that slider. Take a look one more time. See ya. Goodbye. He was just a little early too. Ooh, I'm not throwing, dude. No, that's a that's a that's a jack. Try to backdoor him. No way. Oh, Riz. Dang it. Shoot. Well, ooh, I was really hoping he'd go to third. I was really hoping he'd go to third. Up next for Washington, the catcher, Tabers. How about this question for the next inning? So bottom four. Will a Cub hit a home run? So you got basically a 50-50 shot at this. You don't have to name the specific Cub. I'll show you guys the batting order here in just a moment once we get up. Oh, what the hell? How did he hit that? How did he make contact with that? Oh my god. Kiebert Ruiz, what are you doing? Alright, so we got Reyes, we got the Franimal, we got Seiya and Contreras. Do you think the Cubs will hit a home run in this inning? I mean, we've also got, as the four... I want to see the batting order, please. Uh, we've got, who do we have? We have Reyes, Suzuki, Contreras, and then Brendan Davis. So there's your four. It could extend out if we get a couple more base hits, you know, if we could stretch across a big inning, you know. But do you think there's going to be a home run in this inning? If you say yes, well, if you get it right, yes or no. If you get it right, you get 50 channel points. I, I think I like that bet. So Zach says no. Jaws says no. Undisputed says yes. Oh, come on. Stretch. Stretch. <laughs> Dang it. Ron Mill gave it a ride. Hoping maybe some of you guys that said no. Shaking in your boots a little bit. <laughs> we do need a home run, though. We need one pretty badly. I'm going to stretch this thing. Look at Seiya, dude. Look at Seiya Suzuki. No, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> Zach says, see? Jaws, this is like watching your fantasy player rip your favorite team up. I think Wilson's going to do it for us. Dang it. 
Quit swinging at the garbage. I feel like I can do anything with Wilson Contreras. Like, that's... I love Wilson Contreras. So I feel like whenever I get up to bat with him, I'm like, oh, I can, I can do anything. I can swing at anything. He's going to get a knock. Just stay patient. Oh, what? Dang it. Zach, I'm not wearing boots. All right, we got two down. Brennan Davis time. Give me something like right down the middle. Just, just think that I'm not swinging, but I just come out and just ambush you. Oh, he says, come on. So now look, so you guys have said no, because now you get Nick Madrigal coming up. <laughs> you guys get Nick Madrigal up. He's not hitting all around. There's no way. We could draw a walk. What if Nick Madrigal did it? Oh. What if he did it? What if he's the guy that hit the home run? The take. Take. We got a 3-1, baby. Nico's coming up. Dude, you got it. He's going to give you something right down the middle. Come on, Nico. All right, come on, Nick. <laughs> come on. Oh, dang it, dude. Come on. Yes to the homers. Oh, dang it. No, don't you dare. Ah, dang it. All right, guys, those that said no, you get 50 channel points. 50 channel points for those of you guys that say no. Which was... Jaws, Zach. Jaws and Zach. You guys get 50 channel points. <laughs> and uh, so for those of you guys that don't know... That there's 12 of you guys watching. And only three of you are playing in contests. Channel points are a way for you guys to buy your players. Okay, Blake Snow. We gotta get, I think we might need to get some people warmed up here. I'm probably wanting to trust Mills and Marquez. Righty, lefty. So channel points are a way that you can buy players in the series. And they range from different overall ratings depending on how many points that you have and to spend. <clears throat> so basically the better the player, the pricier it is. But I've gone live explaining that and I don't know. Maybe you guys just don't think it's a cool idea, but I do. And I think it's a great way for, for people to watch other series on the channel, you know? That way you're not just stuck watching one thing. Like, you kind of got to pay attention to the other stuff. Oh, that's a nice pitch. Good job, Blake. Who is my favorite what? A, 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 A player. What is that? 4A? Is that Major Leagues? Is that another way of saying Major Leagues? <clears throat> All right, Nico Horner, one for two. Look at that. Look at how we worked Giolito here. We said after inning number one we wanted to kind of work some count. It's up to 74 through five. It's kind of a lot. Oh, okay. A play okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A player too good for AAA, but not good enough for the MLB. 
Hmm. Hmm. That is a very, very tough question. Is this like all time or is this like current? Oh. Ever? Now Dude, you gotta, you, like, you're racking my brain right now because I'm kind of old. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, like, way back in. Early 2000s, late 2000s, current year. It's tough. That's very, very tough. And I guess the other question is I would expand that question. I'd say, like, what did you mean by he's not cut out for the for the major leagues? You mean like he just sucked, or he wasn't anywhere close to what he did at the AAA level? Ah, damn it! I'm thinking too much about the other. I'm thinking too much about your question. <laughs> Dang it, Jaws! No, it's not your fault. That's my fault. I don't know, man. I. Uh... That's tough. A lot of pitchers flame out. Well, the other, well, the, but the thing I'm asking really is, like, if a guy hits the cover off the ball, like he's like he's amazing down in AAA. Normally, that means like you know you've you've got it, but you'll probably hit like 280 in the big leagues. Is that acceptable? Or would that guy have to hit like 150 and then he would be like considered not a success, you know, in your eyes? Or is 280 not a success after hitting 300? Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? Look at Braylon Marquez. I love that high and inside fastball. Dude, with Braylon Marquez, like the last episode, he just painted on the Nomar Mazzara. Kellenic was hitting 180 this year, but hit like 350 in the minors. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't expect that at all. Now watch this. Oh, see ya, dude. What a what a call up Braylon Marquez has been. What's up, Blake? Dude, Braylon Marquez is just man. So Rudinador is probably thinking fastball. We bust that slider out on him first pitch. I think it might as well bust it out on him again. Look at that. He's not even thinking about it. He's thinking, uh, okay, now you're going to throw me the fastball, right? Right? No, let's just drop in a little deuce. Aw, oh, damn it. Mm, you can't lose him like that. Now batting. Shortstop. Brady. I'm trying to think of some former Tigers. Oh jeez, just trying to get back there. Like I was, I know prospects from way back when, but I can't. I, I'm trying to remember if they were, if they You're sucked or if they weren't too bad. Most guys just kind of flame out. You forget about them, so it's kind of hard. That's a very hard question. I'm not sure how to answer. Jaws, think about it, and I'll let you know back in Discord. How about that? <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, a kill Badu. No! Oh, yeah, he did. He went. He went big time. That was a strike anyway. Anderson kind of always, like, messes with you right there. Ooh, fall in. Let the wind carry it. Just kidding. Ooh, another's Dustin Act. He wasn't too bad. And the pros. But I can see kind of what you're going for there. Ackley was like, he was... Oh, from Neil. Stay fair. Goodbye. Way to turn on that. Oh, you know who was a great one to think about? Sean Burroughs. Sean Burroughs. Now batting. Number 27. You guys probably don't even know who Sean Burroughs is. I'm looking up his stats right now. I'm not even looking I'm not even looking at the <laughs> the screen right now. Uh, so he hit I think he hit a bunch of home runs and Yeah, high school he was drafted out of high school. Yep, he was 18. He was born in 1980. He was in the 1998 draft, round one. Oh, base knock. Base knock. I just, I literally just turned and looked. Pick nine overall. Ninth pick, round one. The catcher, number 41. Debuted in 2002, so it took him four years. But he was supposed to be like this huge power hitter. He hit 305 in the minors. And then in the MLB, hit for a high average, but he never, never, you know, he hit 12 home runs in his career. That's not a bad one, actually. But, oh, Wilson! Get out! Dude, Washington just blew this game. Why are you throwing Tyler Anderson against this right-handed heavy lineup right here? You got Framil Reyes, Seiya Suzuki, and then Wilson Contreras. Like, you can't throw a lefty right there. You can't do it. Like, he's like, bastard. <laughs> so now they throw in another lefty, Tim Kate. I don't know, man. That's this is not good management right there. You got to throw a righty again. Jaws is talking about overseas players. What about um yeah, Shogo Akiyama was kind of a disappointment. What about um Kaz Matsui? Dude, Daryl Boston just got drilled in the face and he did, he just walked off like it was nothing. Boink. Oh, did it hit him off the helmet? <laughs> no, it hit him off the eyeball. Daryl, are you good, man? Oh. Boom. He's just like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Got a hard head. <laughs> Jeez. Kazmet Sue is kind of dif a disappointment. A little bit. Um, what about... <laughs> Pompous. Um, what about... Another Japanese player that kind of blew it. That's not a lot of swing out there.
Who was the guy for the um for Tampa Bay? Remember the guy for Tampa Bay, the Rays. It wasn't Kazmat Sui? It was another guy that could hit for average, and he just second baseman, middle infielder type dude. I don't remember what his name was. What year? This was this kind of was like in 2000 and oh, he played for the Pirates, also. I think it was it would have been like 2011 ish. Now 2010, 2012, something something like that. Yeah. Yep, Iwamura. Yep, you're right. Yep, I liked him. Played him in fantasy a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think he had like one good year. Oh, that, oh shoot, I thought we could have had a double play. That's all right, though. It's all right. All right, hey, top seven, we are up six to one. That's what I call a dub. Look at that pitch, man. Look at that. We're going to give it to him again here, but this time down low. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He took a terrible route. Akinori Iramura. You're right. Yep, that's it. We don't want to get too careless here. We don't want to get ourselves in a situation where it's uh, six to four. Three run jack here by Benintendi. That would suck. The one hopper back to Braylon. He's going to make the toss over to first, and we're out of the inning. Nice job, boys. Leading off for the Cubs. Not shortstop. How about this? You guys want to do something fun? Uh, I don't know. It might be a little too late. 2-0 count. 3-0 count. We'll do a contest for the next game. For game number two. Oh, Nico, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. He throws us a fastball right down the middle. You got to you gotta just drill it. That's three homers. Cubs and cruise control. Hell yeah. Despite being a baby during his early career, I know this because MLB Power Pros. Oh, wait. Oh, dude. Yes. Completely. MLB Power Pros. Dude. I played that game like religiously on the Wii. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. I was like, this is a, this is so good. Up next to the Cubs, the third baseman, when they stopped making it for America it was so sad. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I agree. I agree. Although that was kind of I was in the stage of my life there where I was still in college. So on my off days, I'd be playing. I'd, you know, you're not married. You're not. You don't have kids. You don't have all this stuff going on. And uh, oh, that's a gapper. That's a big gapper. Look at this. Is that gone too? That's gone. Guys, <laughs> we found our power stroke. Devers bomb. This is ridiculous. 106. 30 second homer, man. That's what we paid for. In the off season. Rizzo's got to get his now. Take a look at where this was. Low and inside. We've we've been drilling that pitch with uh, Devers. Look at boom. Your attention, please. So now they're gonna put a righty on lefty. What is the, what is going on? They're gonna, dude. Come on. They're gonna get Gaselman in here against Rizzo. 
I swear to God, if that gets out. Oh, man, we just missed it. Jeez. Stop, stop. He's already dead. Why didn't you make this inning the home run inning? I know, right? Should have. Well, who would have thought the seventh inning when all their best, like, their electric guys are going to come in? Washington is just watching their playoff hopes just slip away. And what a way to do it, too, at home. Like, that's so tough for Washington, though, because, I mean, they're in the... Oh, jeez. Get over his head. They, they were in the driver's seat. Like, they had to win the first two games of the series. Like, they had to have so many terrible things happen to them. Imagine if you're a Nationals fan in this series. Like, if this was real life, imagine if you're a Nats fan. All you got to do is win one game. <laughs> That's it. You play the Cubs, the team that's chasing you. And you got to win one game in a four-game set. They could still do it in this next game. Game number two, they could still do it. But yeah. Oh, Jung Ho Gong. Yeah. Yeah, I remember John Ho Gong. Little chopper. Frommiel just hacked at it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, Braylon Marquez, I kind of want to save him for the next game. He's got to be healthy here, so we'll get a little Alec Mills action going in here. I don't care if it's lefty-righty. little September call-up action here for Alec Mills. Get him into some, a game that matters. Let's get Darwin's in up. We'll get uh, Adbert. I think that should be that should be good for us here. Close this game out. I'm probably expecting some runs given up on uh, Alec Mills, but maybe that would be a question here for you guys. Do you think any runs are going to gonna come across on Alec Mills here in this inning? He's already got one out. So for t we'll say like for 25. So for 25 channel points, do you think Alec Mills is going to give up a run? It's kind of a risk cuz I could get him out there for the ninth inning. I could get him out here for the ninth inning. It's 8-1. Yeah, it's a little bit of a risk here. Oh, Rizzo, make the play, buddy. Make the play. There you go. Good job. All right, so Zach says no, Jaws says no. I'm, I kind of got to lock some. I got to lock those answers down because we got two down. The odds are like, the odds are got got to be like ninety percent to ten that we give up a run. All right, little slide. I will just bury it here. Bury it. Oh geez, there you go. All right, well those of you guys that guessed no, so far so good, but. I think he had like a single digit pitch inning there. I gotta get him out there for the next inning. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make you sweat. I'm gonna make you sweat for it. That's what she said. Base knock? Yes. Say uh We're not stopping. We're not stopping. We're just gonna keep hitting the ball. Every at bat you can get. See it right out of the pitcher's hand. Ah, shit. <laughs> That's quick. Manager for the Nationals are probably like, What's, what are you doing? You're up seven runs. All right. Final inning, boys. Final inning of game number one, and let's just get this thing over with. We can get to game number two and clinch, punch our ticket. Look at that. We got sinker. We got nothing on you. You got nothing. Nico, out. I need, like, a running tally. How many points you guys got? Oof. 
You don't want that? A little four seamer action here. Look at that. 90 miles an hour. Hit me. Can't touch this. Oh, get to the back. Get to the back. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, Riz. You know what a better question would have been? Are we going to give up a run? Oh, come on, Riz. Come on, Bryant. Oh, dude, you got to make the catch. Better question would be, would we give up a hit? Oh. Get him down, mill man. All right. A little sli How about a slider up top? You think he's going to bite at this? I've never really tried this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how about a curveball right here? Oh, look at the break. 69. Nice. Circle change. Give him just that off speed shit. Come on, dude. Come on, Lane. I know you want that. How about that 90 mile an hour cheese? Come on, dude. Slider. You know you want it. You know you want it. Oh, dude. I thought that was strike three. Alright. Well, how about a sinker in his hands? Come at him a little harder. There we go. Pop up to Rizzo. Game over. 8 1 final. Very nice. We get the W. And you know what that means. You know what that means, boys. One win down, one more to go. Domination is exactly right. Blake Snell, five innings, four strikeouts, one earned, one walk. He was the player of the game? I don't know about that. Suzuki went four for four with a double, a ribby, and two runs scored. And he didn't win player of the game? This dude has five innings, four Ks, and you give him player of the game? That's that's rough. That is rough. Look at this. Suzuki. <laughs> a double. Three singles. Contreras, Reyes, Horner, Devers. All those guys hit a home run. Contreras had two ribbies, Davis had two ribbies, and you're going to give it to, wow, you're going to give it to Blake Snell. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't like that too much, but it is what it is. All right, cool. I trust you, Jaws. I trust you. I'll put in 75 points for you here a little bit later. And now I'm going to really, I'm going to give it up to you guys here. Because I want you guys to get kind of interactive with this with this game a little bit here. So we got 11 people. I expect 11 freaking votes. <laughs> Not really. I don't. I don't care. So what do you? Who do you think we should start here, guys? Because we're going up against 19 and four Joe Ross. That's kind of tough. He will be a little bit tougher than Giolito, I think. And Joe Ross has always been one, kind of one of my favorite uh, my favorite pitchers. It's it's either got to be Kyle Hendricks, Reed Stein. You could go with Stroman on a couple days rest. You could go with David Booth. You could go with Alzale. I mean, I don't really think that you could if you know you could go Mills, but he just did, he did pitch two innings here to end the game, so that's probably not very smart. Oh, look at the stamina. He like he recovered really nicely. I wouldn't do it. That would not be realistic, but. You know, would you do David Booth, new guy Joe Rock, Stroman on a couple days rest, Hendricks looks about 90% ready to go, and or Reed Stein. You know, Reed Stein's been kind of a... He's tough, man, because there's some days that he gets absolutely lit up. He does not have a lot of movement on his stuff, but he's had 21 quality starts this season, 14 and 10, second... Season back-to-back -back of a winning record. Over 203 innings pitch. So very, very good sample size. So, why is Joe Ross 19-4? and four? <laughs> That's so random. Hendricks, big-time game calls for big-time pitcher. You saw, okay. So, Zach likes 
Kyle Hendricks. So he likes Hendo here. The man went 15 and 10. First uh, winning season in the series so far. Year one went 10 and 11. Year two got worse. So he goes from 316 to 399. And we were really, I remember that conversation there. So from year one to year two, we were like, I don't know if we should uh, you know, keep Hendricks around. I don't know if what we're going to do with him. And he turned in a pretty good season, 15 and 10. 129 strikeouts, good control, 46 walks, 19 strikeout, or 19 uh, quality starts. All right, so Zach, he thinks Hendricks. I really don't. I think that's probably the way to go. He's a veteran, 34 versus 22. It's a huge game. Anxious to think what you, what other you, uh, other you guys are that are out there. I'm interested to see what you guys think here. Strowman just did not very he did not have a very good year. 445. Plus he's about 50%. So that's I guess that's just kind of out of the option there. David Booth struggles at times. So it, yeah, I guess it really is between Stein or Hendricks. What do you guys think? What do you guys want to see? Hey, Pompous, he joined the Discord. Nice, I just uh, took a look at that. All right, well, just one vote for Hendrix. <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing. All right, Hendricks it is, but, oh, man, everybody's tired. Everybody's got Madrigal's exhausted. We Look at look at the look at the national side of things. Everybody's healthy. Their energy level is good to go. Got to start Brian over Addison here. Ian, giving Ian Happ a chance might be an interesting call today. Honestly. I don't know. I don't think we should mess with it. I think we just need to go with what we have here, guys. I think that uh, you can overthink it. But look at that middle of the order, just hot. Everybody's hot right there. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. I think in this situation, it's do or die. Gotta be all in. All right, here we go. Ooh, we're getting another. Hey, did you guys see that? Adam Donato. I think he was a year one prospect. So he's coming over. He's playing shortstop here tonight. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like to see that. And now, your 2024 Chicago. <clears throat> I forget where he's from, though. I don't remember where he's from in that Bradley Brave series, but pretty cool to see him in the lineup. And Reggie's got the glasses on. Last night he didn't. He didn't have to. But tonight he does. Day game, by the way. Day game. All right, so Hendricks delivers a strike. Ooh, he's getting the call there on the corner. That's a really good pitch, actually. That's a really good pitch. Let's get that curveball going here. Ooh. Good idea. Good idea. But we know that Reggie uh, from game number one has a very good eye. A pretty good swing to boot. But Brian makes the play. Good out. Get out. Good job. Good pitching. There. Let's take a look at the lineup here. We got uh, Yastrzemski at DH and Adam Donato. There's our boy here. 302. You know what? I remember. He's from Cal State Fullerton. That's right. That's right. Very good hitter. Speedy guy, too. Kind of a five tool player. We got a pretty good replacement for Trey Turner. It's kind of what he reminds me of. 
So I think he's a little shorter and smaller. I'm kind. Of, I'm really enjoying the the concept of um, these last couple series that I've been doing. Oh jeez, he fights this thing off. That's unreal. The concept of you know playing the older games and the college thing. You know we get we get NCAA baseball 07. We get college football revamped, and we. We bring players over from that, from that little universe over there, and, and get them into the pro game. I think that's been pretty cool. Granted, it does take a little while to get uh, draft classes made and prospects made, so I hope you guys are enjoying the concept. Not a lot of people on YouTube do that. I think it just adds to the immersion a little bit. And there he is. There's our boy. There's Adam Donato. Eight-game hitting streak. Six homers. 302 batting average. OPS above 800. He's pretty darn good. His batting stance. I say that because I made him. <laughs> okay. He's getting onto the sinker a little bit, so you might want to throw him something off. Changes eye level a little bit. Man, he's got some good vision. Uh-oh. Bryant makes the play. <clears throat> Zach says, kid's kind of crushing it, bro. Yeah, he is. Josh says, yeah, the concept's good. Games give you names like Jeff Jefferson. I have seen that before. It just it gets it just, just gets old after a while, you know. Alright, I should have taken a look at what Joe Ross is tossing up here. Look at Donato makes the throw. That was smooth. Donato's smooth out there at short. All right, what are we looking at here? We got a sinker, slider, four seam, circle change. So that circle change is probably going to move just like the sinker. So it does have an off speed pitch that looks just like it, but there's a Nico base hit. Robles going to get hit in the nuts. <laughs> James, James. <laughs> oh, geez. Bill Williamson. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, oh, jeez. God dang it. That's a double play, isn't it? No? All right. We got to we gotta stay a little more patient. I'm getting all caught up in the fact that we just hit a bunch of home runs. We, <clears throat> we had such a really we, – we had such an offensive sh uh, shootout explosion in the last game. That's a good pitch to hit, but that's going to get over. No. Dang it. I saw a guy do a franchise before with a wide receiver named Joseph Joseph. Dude, I tell you, man. There needs to be something. There, Well, there needed to be something in those older games. Especially... Oh, Devers! Come on! I'm just hitting a button. That's it. That's AI all the way. Devers, you got to make the... Dude, come on, Rafi. It's going to cost us, isn't it? There was a guy named Duke Duke in NBA 2K. <laughs> he went to... No, you're lying. <laughs> he went to North Carolina. That's, a, that's hilarious. Don't even think about going. Don't you even think about it. <clears throat> no lie. <laughs> Duke Duke. <laughs> uh, his parents were trolls then. They probably were like, yeah, your name's going to be Duke Duke, but you know what? You will learn to love North Carolina. So we can, we can, uh, and the, but they were Duke fans. And they, they forced their kid to love North Carolina. So that he'd end up going there and, you know, they'd force... 
they'd force the fans to have to worship Duke Duke. <laughs> it's a master plan, man. It's a master plan. Bull Bull is real, so there's some realism. <laughs> oh, that's great. <clears throat> All right, what are you thinking here, Robles? What are you thinking here? Thinking something off speed and go to a sinker? No? How about a little, uh, how about a little deuce? A little deuce. All right, so he doesn't want to take the spinner. We need it out here. Give him something to hit. I guess. I want to know where that location was. That was pretty borderline. We didn't get the call, unfortunately. That's gonna be a run, unfortunately. This Brian. Oh, we gonna we gonna get him at second here. We gonna get him. We gonna get him. Come on, Nick. Oh Nick. no! Two runs. Oh, that that hurts. We had 24 speed running to second base. We could have had him. But instead, they got sneaky. They got sneaky, took the extra base. Two runs going to come home. And Cubs got our work cut out for us now. Down by two. So this is starting to get, I'm starting to get a little anxious here. Starting to get a little scared. Leading off. Don't be scared. Be aggressive. Right fielder, 27. Base hits. <clears throat> That's right. Gotta stay aggressive at all times. John Jake Gaming. What is up, my friend? Batting six. The designated hitter. Guys, I am sure that you've heard of John Jake Gaming. I'm sure you have. You love college football here on this channel. Why am I swinging at that? Joseph, you got to catch up, man. <laughs> you got to catch up. This is Devers. What the fuck? <clears throat> but if you have not heard of John Jay Gaming, please go check out his channel. Does a lot of uh, college football content over there through an FCS mod. Hmm? So if you like uh, modded college football content, John Jay has you covered there. Oh, get through. Yes. There you go, boys. That this is this is a way to respond right here. This is a great way to respond. Seven, left fielder. Now you get Chris Bryan in here. What we don't need is a ground ball. And I know that that's exactly what Joe Ross is going to try to get us to do here, but we, we cannot allow that to happen. Deep drive. Oh, baby! Chris Bryan. I didn't know if he was going to get enough of that. Yes, let's go. Chris Bryant. Three run jack. This is why we acquired this man at the deadline. Bring him back in the Cubs pinstripes. Get out of here, ball. Look at that win expectancy just shift. That's right, guys. You got to stay aggressive. Remember when I said, I'm scared. I'm scared. They got two runs on us. No. No. You you cut that. You cut that crap out. You pull your big boy pants up and you say, we're going to just hit a three-run freaking jack. Never mind. Now we're striking out all the time. <laughs> God, I, I do it all the time with Wilson Contreras. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I can hit with him. I can do it. And then Brennan Davis comes up and pops up. You guys aren't hyped about that Chris Bryant home run? Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, you guys missed it. You must have missed it. You that or there's a delay. I don't know. All right, end of the second inning. 
is over. But Chris Bryant, yep, I see you. I see you. You got us on the backs of Chris Bryant. I thought, dang it, I said I was going to change his number back to 17, and I didn't do it. You guys got to remind me. I will forget. <laughs> Oh, sh dang it. It's another gap shot, dude. Hendricks is, uh, he might need to go like four innings. For real. He might need to go like four innings, and that's it. The batter, the right fielder, one, go to. Oh, no. Go to first. Go to first. Go to first. <laughs> that's one way to turn it. <laughs> Oh, man, I, like, you know, you're thinking ground ball, you go to two. You go to two. But he's already on second. <laughs> That's one way to uh, to get Juan Soto out. <laughs> hey, uh, Nick, here, you take it. Okay, let's go, to, let's go to Riz. That's how you practiced it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. All the time. Oh, shh. Dude, this Adam Donato. Adam Donato. Gets it back. That hurt. I got cute with it, guys. I get cute with it. I got cute with it. Tried to throw that change up. I think that's what we called for. And he just doesn't have the confidence for it. And I threw it anyway. That hurts. That hurts. But our offense has shown the ability to get some runs scored, man. So I'm, you can't be worried about it. Can't be worried about it. At least it's one run. It's not like a four-run deficit out here. You know what I mean? Designated hitter, Mike. But we gotta watch out for that guy. I think. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. That's gonna get out, too, isn't it? Oh, what a gun! Yeah, I, I think... I think Hendricks... He's gotta go four. Maybe even like three. Like this might have to be the last thing. They're just they're just wrecking him right now. Adam Donato, look at this. Like oh oh god, just change up right down, right down Broadway. All right, here we go. Let's get the offense rolling here again. We got 15 pitches on Joe Ross. Come on. Got to work him a little bit. There we go. There we go. This is what we got to do. Don't get too anxious up there. We have to work the pitch count on him. Yeah, there you go. It's something that you can... Something you can drive here. I'm not swinging on 3-0. That would have been a ground out. Sinker's got some good movement. Good, good take. Lead off walk, that's exactly what we needed. Because <clears throat> we got Devers. Sinker's going to move away from us. Going to try to get that ground ball at third, I bet. Third or short. Probably low and away sinkers. Be we'll watching out for that. If he, miss, if he gets a mistake, it's going to come right down the middle and low. We've got to watch out for that. So fastball probably setting us up. <clears throat> Gotta be looking sinker. Slider low. It's too early. Would have been a really good pitch to hit, though. No, 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 no. <sighs> yes, he did, though. He did go. He did go. Come on, Rafi. Make up for the air. 
Ground ball, looking for the double play. Nope, not gonna get it. Not gonna get it. We're safe at all bags. Look at the dugout. They're like, what? We're not even standing up for our dudes. <laughs> nice. Nice. That gives us Anthony Rizzo. How about a three-run jack here, Anthony Rizzo? Dang it. They're going to get that one, though. No, oh, that hurts me so much. <sighs> that sucks. Look at that pitch. Swinging at the first pitch, you idiot. Idiot. Oh, Seiya. Oh, we missed it. No, is it going to go? It's going to go! How in the world? The Dude, the PCI wasn't even on that. <laughs> well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, my God. Seiya. We take the lead right back. We Let me check the wind. Look at he he got like the barrel on it, but the PCI wasn't even close. I gotta check the wind. Where's the where's the wind? Okay, look at it's blowing out. Oh shoot! Hold on, hold on. All right, let's check it. Yeah, dude, that the wind's carrying it out there. The wind's carrying it out there. Look at nine mile an hour, left, blowing from right to left. Wow, so we got lucky. We got lucky. We miss hit it and it still went out. Ah, man, that was a good swing. Alright, hey. So every time the Nationals take the lead on us, we get it right back. <laughs> awesome. Five to four, an error apiece, and five hits apiece. But Seiya Suzuki with the big time blast. We got 8-9-1 coming up. Hendricks has to get out of this inning. <clears throat> has to get out of this inning. And I'm talking like nobody gets on base. So we need to get some people up in the bullpen. Need to get something working there. Yep. The batter. So we need to get some Joe Rock in here. We need to get some. That's a little too. Hmm. Maybe some Darwin's in. Maybe no. Probably Cody Hoyer. Yeah. Yep. I'm liking that. Man, uh, Contreras really likes that curveball right now. Maybe that's why. Gonna start getting that. Getting that going. If I can push Hendricks to five. He's only got 49 pitches here. Likely against this guy, Reggie Wells. We're not getting him to swing on first pitch. He is swinging on first pitch. So we'll probably get to like 54, 54 pitches here for Hendricks. <clears throat> if I can get him to 60. Maybe mid-60s. In the fifth inning, that should be that should be considered a good start. All right, so 53 pitches. I wanted 54, but 53, I'll take that. I'm gonna take that. <clears throat> but we need some more runs. Chris Bryant. Let's get another run here. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Two homers for KB. Get that slider off me. These are the moments, man. These are the moments. Slider, just too easy. Chris Bryant, boosh. <clears throat> Up next to the Cubs, 
Like, I, like you see this, you see what happens with Wilson Contreras. We get like he's hitting eighth. So after all, like the middle of the order dudes, look at. <laughs> it's, I gotta move him up in the order. That's what needs to happen. I gotta move him up in the order so that I can feel like I have all the success with the guys in the middle. And then you're like Wilson. By the time Wilson Contreras comes up, it's like, oh, I can do anything. I mean, like I can hit home runs. I can hit doubles. I can. Yeah, there you go. A little single. <laughs> Take it. The center fielder, number 33. Ah, dang it. Wow, we still... So we only got one down right here. All right, Madrigal. I think you've had a hit. In these uh, in these two games here, so let's let's do that. Let's change the fortunes. Let's change the fortunes. Safe. Give us a hit. Nico lay a bunt down here. Maybe not. He hit a home run today, didn't he? Test him. Just just freak him out a little bit. Freak him out. All right, Devers, ground out in the third. It's 0 for 2. 37 pitches here for Joe Ross. I think, you know, we, we just keep being a little too aggressive. It's a big situation right here. Can really blow this thing open. Middle part of the game. You can, you can literally blow this game open right here. A double... Could possibly score two. Got some speed there. Madrigal. Hmm, not a good swing. Didn't we didn't even move the PCI. The take. The take. See that movement? Oh. Dang it, we just missed it. That wind, dude. That wind's going to push that back. We just missed it. But Chris Bryant, there you go. We got that run that we wanted there. Boom. Reaching out. Get that bat head to it. All right, so this is a good situation here. We got two-run lead. He said if we can get to about 64, 66... Pitches there for Hendricks and then uh, get the bullpen going. I think that that would be a successful start. We got to be careful here with Juan Soto. You don't want this thing 6 5. Devers missed it. Devers missed it. Dude, I'm not. I Wilson, I'm not throwing the circle change. <laughs> Just to make it interesting, I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to trust your catcher, right? You got to trust your catcher. We trust Wilson. That's uh, the last circle change that we threw to Donato. I think uh, we just didn't execute. But there we did. There we did. Nice. That's a big out right there. The number four hitter, the youngster. Adam Donato. The first base, number 17. It's a circle change, Ray. sinker. So we progressively worked it from middle to more out every time. It's not a bad pitch sequence. Circle change, off balance. Sinker, late. Sinker outside. Ow, that hurt my finger. <laughs> sinker out, off the plate. Like, he doesn't know what's coming. It could be a circle, it could be a sinker, you know, who knows. No, this is a disaster. <sighs> circle change on 3-0, Wilson. Oh, Nico! Yes! What a play! What a play! 
Look at this man. Ground ball Mancini dive. Look at that. Nico baby. What a play. He really has, Zach. He really, really has. You know, it's funny because early in this series, year one, year two, I just really couldn't do much with him. Even in this season three, I couldn't really do much with him. But towards the last couple episodes, he's really been... He's really been good. Probably should have taken that for the first strike, honestly. Not really a good pitch to swing at. That one is, though. That one is. Is that going to get out? Oh, my God. Use the, Chicago, use the Chicago win, man. Use it to your advantage. Look at this. Zach's calling game. He says that's ball game. I wouldn't be too sure, man. Look at that. Dude, you can't throw it. You can't throw it. I wonder, what, did he do? what did he throw? Was that a slider? They're going to go with Anderson on back-to-back -back days. Look at this. They're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. Yeah, Ross threw the slider right there. But look, at they're going to do this again. We've got... We've got Reyes, Bryant, Contreras, and Davis. We got four right-handed hitters coming up, and they're going to do it again. They're really going to throw Tyler Anderson out here. So some questionable decision-making there for the management. They've literally blown their, their postseason chances. They give up. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. I take my words back then and strike out. <laughs> Chris Bryant's got two homers. Let's make it three. Nope, not three, but right through the shift. So it's time for Wilson Contreras then. That's what it comes down to. Contreras needs a knock. Look at look at the last at bat here. Nothing was a strike. Which means this one will be. Nope, that's a little off. It's a little out there. Yep. Stay composed. I, yes. Damn it. Yeah, we need some more runs. Three run lead is not enough for me. Yeah. Oh, stay fair. Stay fair. Wow. That's like a foot outside the pole. It's not going to tell us, is it? Nope. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's probably like. Oh, dude, that's about maybe like three feet, probably. If you're thinking about that, that's probably uh, no, I'm probably more than that. Probably six, seven feet. Oh, that's a good approach. That's a very good approach. Back-to-back -back knocks right there. That's a, that's actually a great job by Contreras. You pull that first pitch almost for a home run, and then he gives you outside and low, and you say, that's fine, I'll take my base hit. That's not, though. Dang it, we needed some more right there. Love oppo hitting. I do, too. I do, too. I appreciate oppo hitting. Say a Suzuki there with that bomb. That's what we like. Sixth inning for Hendricks. I think he's done. I think he's done. So we get Rugnet Odor, we get Yastrzemski, and then we get Robles. I'm not too worried about Robles. I think we can go with Joe Rock right now. I'm feeling the Joe Rock thing. So 
Throwing 95 from the left hand slot. It's good by me, man. It's good by me. I think this will be his only inning, though. I'm not going to play around in the seventh. I don't care if he's healthy. I don't care if he's on a low pitch count. I think that he should be good. <sighs> he should be good just for this inning. Stremsky's a tough, a tough hitter, tough out, but I think we definitely got to get Rude down our door. We got to get him. Oof, that was risky. That was risky. Got lucky there. But uh, we want fastball low and away, huh? Okay, probably setting him up for something there, Wilson. Yep, slider. Ooh, fly ball. Chris Bryant, get in there. Thank you. Making me nervous. <clears throat> Just missed. Just missed. Ooh, let's get a little frisky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're gonna throw him off speed here. Nope, still coming after the heat. Oh, that was tight. That was close. <laughs> that was close too. Oh, come on, Blue. There we go. That's a makeup. That's got to be a makeup call. The changeup looked like it was there, but that, that other pitch high and out. I know that wasn't there, but it was dang close. Joe Rock coming in and shutting the door. Painting right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. We need a relay. We need a good relay. We need a good relay. We need a good relay. Come on, Nico. Come on, baby. Get the out. Let's go. Let's go. Nice job, Chris Bryan and Nico. Look at that toss. And then the tag. Mmm. Love it. Shutting them down, boys. Shutting them down. <laughs> Nico Hosner get it because he has a hose for an arm <laughs> yes sir <sighs> he's swinging a garden hose with a bat though right now That's tough, though. We got, like, in real life, this would be a really tough situation. We got the... We're, we're in the shade right now. It's literally turning black the last second. I think I saw Eddie Vedder in the stands his day. <laughs> You're going to have to tell me... If, if you go back, tell me where he might be. Spot him out. <clears throat> Oh, Dougie, what are you swinging at that for? I'm, like, moving the PCI right now. Like, you can't see it because I got it turned off. It's just a distraction for me. But I'm, like, moving it around the circle. I'm, like... I shouldn't be doing that. I should just react like I normally do. Just read and react. Read and react. I mean, his song is in the game. The one, two. Ball, two. Low and outside. Devers waiting on the two, two. Missed. Anthony Rizzo is on deck 
with two down. A really big thing if Devers gets on base. And he can't because he's wings and a miss. Damn it. All right, Joe Rock, you are done, sir. We've got, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Juan Soto, no difference. Lefties against righties. I mean, I'm just nitpicking at that point. Benintendi is noticeably better against righties. Man, that is tough. That is tough, isn't it? That is a tough, tough decision. I think... Yeah, Cody Hoyer is not the answer. I'm not feeling that at all. If you throw Cody... If you throw Hoyer in there right now, like, his stuff... 4 seam slider circle change. Like, that's just not enough of a repertoire to really get those guys out. Benintendi and Soto. Like, you need more than that. Hernandez would be perfect against them. And I kind of like, even though Reggie Wells is 79-61, I still think I can get him out with Joe Rock. But I know I don't want Joe Rock against Benintendi and Soto. Like, I don't, I just, I don't want that. Even though he's got the stuff, he's got a good repertoire here. Slider change, two seam, pretty standard though. Kind of like Darwinson's uh, sweeping curve and his breaking stuff a little bit more. So I think that that's what we're going to have to go with. We need to get Wells out right here. Be a big out to get. Get the lead off, man. <sighs> Dang it. Change up. Change up sounds perfect to me. Nope. Man, this guy. He's a pest, dude. He's a pest. You can't get him out. There you go. There you go. Alright, so we're not going to give Rock a chance. Yep, we're not going to give Rock a chance against the 2-3. Plus they got Donato. I think it's uh, I think it's Hernandez time. Look at his stuff right here. Lefty against all those other lefties. He's getting them to 182 all year long. I love that. Four seam slider, sweeper, and a two seamer. I think we got to do it. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the car. Number I was hoping for the animation. <laughs> like he's calling him out. Hernandez. All right, Hernandez. This is why we acquired G-Man from year number one. Now we need another lefty here. Probably Marquez. All right. Yep, here we go. Got some good heat and stuff, man. Here we go. Nice. Look at the movement. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I really like about Hernandez. Just the movement that he's got. Oh! It froze him. It just gets him off balance. It gets him to swing a little bit more. I just kind of like Hernandez's stuff versus uh, Joe Rock. Get that back, that slider again. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nasty. I mean, this was totally off the plate. Got a great hitter like Ben and Tenny to swing at that. Good lord. Look at that. Just paint. I'm going to try to... Change the eye level there, I guess. Yep, slider down. I don't like this against Soto. Oh, okay. Wilson, you're making me a believer. Nice job by Darwinson. <laughs> Froze him. 
Darn it, Darwinson is a stud, man. In this series, he's a stud. I love him. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. So we got to think here, though, too, because that was 2-3. That was 1-2-3. So we're going to get 4-5-6 in the 8th, 7-8-9 in the ninth. if you go 3-up-3-down three three back-to-back innings. So we'll likely need to face off against those guys again in the ninth inning. So we better be... We better be ready with somebody else in the, in the pen. Probably you got to go with Hendricks, Liam Hendricks. Shut it down. Probably get him warmed up in the eighth. Oof, good pitch to hit right there. So 7-4 game in the seventh. We need some more runs, though, guys. Dang it. Some more runs. Oh, I was gonna say, say, are you kidding me? <laughs> Gets another one. Three homers in the game. So really, the offense has been driven by Suzuki and Bryant. I think they've had two home runs apiece. Gotta leave it up. Leave it up. Zach says Ben Intendi is butt and Soto is a bum. That's harsh. Oh, dang it. Just it ah. Leave it up there. Leave it up. It's still gonna be called a strike though. You know that I'm you know that I'm just gonna call it. Oof. Hang back a little bit. No, I wasn't. I'm not, I'm not even going to tell you what I was doing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here's Donato. Little flip. Dang it. Dude, I just got caught in a stare. Does that ever happen to you? Does that ever happen to you guys where you just get caught in a stare? And you're just like staring off into the universe. <laughs> that's that's what happened there, and I got cocky with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm still gonna get a base hit. Didn't happen. Ooh. Nice job, nice job, nice job. All right, Darwin's it here in the eighth. Has got one down. Got another comment here. Hey, we got another chat. Greg. Been loving the series, just wondering what the two you brought back. What's the timeline for Javi's return? Ooh, Javi Baez. Well, he's he's with my Tigers, and he's won a World Series over there with them. And uh, I think, did the Tigers, where are they? in season two, I think, is when they won it against the Dodgers. I don't think that they won it in season. I think it was year two. Yeah, that makes more sense. So he won it in season two. I'd have to take a look at his contract situation. You know? I'll see what his contract situation is. And, uh... If it's like seven years or something, that's going to be, like, way too long. Javi might be one of those dudes that never that never comes over, you know. We had we had an immediate need at first base and we had an immediate need at third, so or uh, left field, outfield. Now that is the second base. So hence Chris Bryan and Rizzo. But I love the idea. I, I think that that would be kind of cool. You know, and honestly, that would be pretty sweet because, you know, Nick Madrigal is, <clears throat> he's kind of, 
Mike, look at look at Darwin's a dude. Darwin's is so good. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. All right, former Cub here, Carl Edwards Jr. He's gonna wish that he was on the other side. <clears throat> so we're gonna get Liam Hendricks going here, warming up. He's all we need. But yeah, I mean that wouldn't be out of the question, I don't think. I just again I gotta look at his contract situation. How long his length is with Detroit. But I think just looking at our team, I love Nico at short. If I if we end up getting Javi, I would move Javi to short and uh Nico to second. But you know, Madrigal's got a pretty high overall right now so it's kind of tough to say that I want to move him or move on from him with 99 contact so he's he's really good in this game he's really good in this series he's a leadoff guy It'll be interesting to take a look at so Carl Edwards is like Pretty sure all the times you called me off. <laughs> Hits Wilson Contreras. Oh, right down the middle, dude. What are you doing? Why are you going out there? Thinking slider curve or something? Yeah, probably that. Goofy? Swing right down the middle. Just like that. We really need some insurance. Like this three run thing is interesting and all but man I'm the pressure's on the batter, number one, second baseman, Nick. but luckily they got seven eight nine coming up I think I think somebody got on base yeah so they'll actually have uh, eight nine one But, you know, Madrigal on the season, hitting 283. The course of a couple seasons, he's always hit well for us. You're really hard to say, you know, hey, we're, we're going to move on without you. You know, you got to get down, by the way, Wilson. Good job. Good job. All right, hey, Nick. If you get a base, here, a base hit here, we'll keep you. No pressure. We'll, we'll keep you around for a few more seasons. Get a base knock. Or walk. Love how I just changed on the fly form. Oh, no. Well, I'm sorry, Nick. You've been cut. We have now optioned you to triple a and you will be you'll be traded at the end of the next season and we will acquire Javi Baez and that's it thanks for playing thanks for being a part of our our rebuild here fall in okay guys you know what that means we are on the verge of sweeping the nationals and punching our ticket to the playoffs but we've got to get eight nine and one and we're calling on our closer, Liam Hendricks. This is it, right here. 37 saves, he's had six of them blown. And just in case, we're going to get some other guys warming up. Just in case. But I doubt we're going to need it. Ground ball, Hendricks, gotta make the play. Plant, there you go, we got one. We got one. The bat, the catcher, Caber, 98 and a two seam fastball. Somehow I forget that he's got that. Jamming him, baby. Jamming him. Oh, he swung at that? 
Oh, uh, now he's thinking you got to go outside, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to actually do a little two-seam action here. Right at the knees. Ah, oh, frick. Dang it. All right, now we're back to the top of the order. <clears throat> oh, no. This is not good. This isn't good. <laughs> because now we've got a situation here. We got Ben and... Oh, God. I didn't do this on... Oh, my God. Yikes. This is not good. We got Benintendi, and then we got Soto, and then we've got Donato. Two, three, four. And we've got to get a double play here. I don't want to face Soto in this situation. No, 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 no. can't throw a, uh, he wants me to throw the slider. Okay, Wilson. <clears throat> Knuckle curve. Dude, you, the game is trying to get me to give up a home run, isn't it? Double play. Double play. Let's go. Let's go. Cubs. Cubs win. Cubs are going to the playoffs. We sweep. The Washington Nationals in perhaps the, the most clutch series, the clutch moment in this series for this team. You need to win four games. Not only did you need to win a couple games before this series even happened to stay within it, but you needed to win four straight games. You needed to sweep the Nationals. In order to make the postseason. They're the team that was in front of us. They had to get beat. They could not get a W. And we didn't let them have it. Good defense all the way around. Timely hitting. Clutch hitting. Double play. To end it. Let's go. Oh, no, no, Zach. No way. Nope. Nope. Yeah. No. This is it. You know. This is it. This is the, this is the deal. This is the video. This is part of the series. This is the vid. <clears throat> so it makes it hyped up, man. All right. Player of the game is Seiya Suzuki. Four for four with two bombs, three ribbies. Kyle Hendricks was good enough to get the win. Only one strikeout. It's kind of a very Kyle Hendricks thing to do. It's not going to strike out a bunch of people. Five innings, 0-4 earned though, so it was a kind of it was a rocky start, but he got the job done. Chris Bryant, two home runs, three for four, four ribbies. Joe Ross was the tough luck loser in this ball game. Everybody got a hit except for Brennan Davis and Rizzo. They both went 0 for four, had four strikeouts on the game total. Reyes had two, but man, what a what a day there for Bryant. And Suzuki, really the two uh, driving forces for, for us in this game. Devers with the early error. I thought things were going to get really sticky, really hairy for us um, in the early going. That's uh, really allowed the Nationals in that second inning to get those two runs scored. Kind of hurt us there. But, yeah, Hendricks was was good, man. I thought he was fine. He was, he was rocky, but I thought he was fine. He did, did the job. Rock came in an inning and a third. Hernandez, his 14th hold, had three strikeouts in an inning and two-thirds. And, uh, yeah, that was just a great game all the way around. Great job. Great job by our team here. You know, I, I, took really, I really took a big risk as well by, like, simming these first two games. Like, I was really, like, gung-ho on, I'm not going to stream all four games. But I really need to win these two games in order to kind of set up this situation, right? But that's that was crazy lucky, man. We got a 5-4 win here in the ninth inning. They scored two runs on us, but we still uh, hung on to get the victory. 
8-6 win here. This is all through simulation. They scored another run in the ninth inning, and we held on to get the win. But some close Ws there on the Thursday and Friday. We win over the weekend, and we punch our ticket to the postseason, man. So awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. We are officially in the wild card. We will be taking on the Padres. So really the last episode that we just watched against the Padres, kind of a, a playoff preview in a, in a way. Six straight wins for the Cubs. The Rockies ended up winning seven straight, and they came in a game behind us. So really, the, the Rockies traded away Chris Bryant, and they got better. They got better by trading Chris Bryant away. We got better by grabbing Chris Bryant. So I'm actually interested to see how you know the guys that we moved on from, if they got called up and how that they did for, uh, for Colorado because it looks like that trade really helped both teams. But one of us made it. The other one didn't. So um, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the season. We finish 85 and 77. And there's your playoff bracket. So we got Detroit, Houston, Boston will await the winner of Texas, Seattle, Milwaukee, Atlanta, and then we'll take on uh, San Diego. And whoever wins that series is going to face the Dodgers. So that's a very, very tough draw. The Dodgers ended the season with 99 wins. And uh, the Padres with 94. So just kind of like what we saw in last episode, you know, the Padres, we, we kind of handed it to them a little bit. We handed their ass to them. So I, but David Booth, when he pitched against the Dodgers, we got destroyed. So I'm really not looking forward to that series if we do get a win. But, you know, that's kind of how it all shakes out. The Braves at 96 wins. Mariners, Rangers. We'll take a look at some of their stats as well. See what players that they have to watch out for. Tigers still doing good, 89 and 73. Last season's World Series champs, they beat the Dodgers. So it can be done. It can be done, but it does make me nervous a little bit. Uh, Biscuit Slayer, I, in retrospect, I like that trade more. <laughs> yeah. You got, just, you got to trust me, man. You got to trust me. Uh, let's see what Greg... I, what do you consider your worst move in this series so far? Hmm, that's a tough call. Probably the Archie Bradley trade. Like, it served its purpose, really. It kind of held the, the bullpen together for a little while, made us competitive back there, but he ended up walking. You know, we didn't really, we didn't re-sign him the next season, but I, it's kind it's, it's hard because it served its purpose, but it wasn't like a long-term type of move. It was one of, one of those short-term type of deals. And yeah, I you know just thinking about, it, I think that'd probably be the one move that I that I haven't been a fan of per se. Can't really think of anything else. Um, maybe the I can't say that I hated the Archimedes Gamboa trade either. You know. It's kind of a minor league depth guy. Hans Alberto's depth guy. McBroom, depth guy. Still kind of waiting on Cavadas, but we drafted Timothy Pierce, so he's he's the future for us. Schwindel's getting on his way out, in my opinion. Rizzo's not going to be here for very long. Two year contract. Yeah, so you know, maybe Cavadas turns into kind of the backup to Pierce. That's really what I'm what I'm thinking here. Um, Fortes. I'm trying to think of anything else that's happened. Getting Franchi Cordero, just another dude that's minor league depth. I don't know. Zavala's been good. Minor leagues too. 69C. Nice progression all the way around. I don't know, man. I I think I've liked all the moves that we've made. <laughs> yeah, I think I've always liked the moves that we've made. What do you think, Greg? What do you think was the worst move? What do you think was the best move? What do you guys think the best move was? What do you think the worst move was? Uh, we wanted to look at Colorado. That's right. I remember. Okay, so let's take a look at Colorado, see what we got going on here for them. Uh, custom player here, John Bottenfield, 5-7, 355. Tankersley pitched at Washington, so he was a Washington Husky. Won the College World Series out there. 
Brian Rolson is real. Who we uh, we gave him Patrick Bailey. He looked like he was a uh, September call up that didn't play, but he looks like he's going to be their future along with Logan O'Hop. Who else did we trade away? We traded away Patrick Wisdom. He's actually had some nice progression since we traded him away. I think he did. He have like I think he had like eight home runs with us when we traded him. He's got sixteen for him, so he got some playing time there with Ryan McMahon. So righty lefty platoon helped him out. Clint Frazier three fifty six. Clint Frazier hit three fifty six for him. Had a plus six in contact. Yeah, Clint Frazier was good in uh, 17 games for these guys. 45 at-bats. So it's kind of nice to see them. If there was one team I'd love to help out, it would be the Rockies. <laughs> I have a I have a like for the Rockies, so you know anything to help them out, that would be that would be good. And I think that was the the three pieces that we traded away. Um, best move, Zach Zach thinks it was Darwin's and Hernandez, or drafting Chris Addison. Yeah, Chris Addison's been a been amazing in a rookie a rookie season. I I I got really I got really you know into myself thinking that I was we just got to call him up like year two we got to call him up. He was a year one guy we drafted. We got to call him up now. But I waited it out. Kind of wanted to see how he was going to do down there in AAA. Get a little bit better before you come up here and. Yeah, he's an 83 now. He's better than Wilson. Still got to work on the arm strength and uh, fielding numbers to be a catcher. But right now, he's, he's he won't be too bad, you know, sitting there kind of platooning there with uh, Chris Bryant out in the left field. Yeah, I think that's – I mean, just look at how this team has changed so much. Big contract, Devers, Rizzo kind of on a cheaper deal. Suzuki's really progressed nicely. He's 29, so he's getting up there. So it's a, kind of about time that he's... You can play in the major leagues until you're like 36, but most guys start seeing that progression hit. Framil Reyes, huge get at 28 years old, so he's still kind of in his prime. I mean, this dude's hitting 41 home runs for us. Look at this. Ever since we got him in that trade, 44 home runs, 41 home runs. So he's been an absolute beast for us in that middle of the order. I still think it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> Look at that picture. I don't even need that, like, say a Suzuki there. We've got the actual Fran Mil Reyes photograph in a Cubs jersey. <laughs> oh, dude, that's just nuts. Is this crazy? It's just nuts. Chris Bryant, uh, Brennan Davis, though, seeing some nice progression, too. Plus eight. Look at the contact, dude. And then the power is starting to come around a little bit. Yeah, Brennan Davis is going to be a mainstay. I really love what we've built here. I'm really excited for what we've got going on for like year four, year five, year six. Yeah, I think uh, I think what we built is a monster for sure. I'm excited for it. Pitching staff, you know, we got some youth there. Killian, Booth, Alzale, Stein, Steele. So when the old guard kind of leaves, like Snell... Hendricks, Stroman, when these guys are gone, we've still got Killian, Marquez can start. Like, Joe Rock is a starting pitcher. So, you know, I'm using him in the bullpen right now because it's really just where he fits. But look at that. He's a 76-23B. Cole Wynn still needs to come up and make an impact for us. We've got Jordan Wicks. We've got this guy, Dave Iden, that we drafted, I think, in year two. Rafael Ruiz, good progression for this dude, plus six, plus five. This is a guy that you guys drafted too, community draft. So not a custom player, but guy that you guys spotted, you liked his stuff, four-seam slurve, two-seam change curve. I think he's, he's going to be great if that uh, progression can happen for him quickly. So I think, I think what we built here is a very, very strong organization, and I, man, a lot of, a lot of positive moves. Um, if I, you know what, rethinking about this, I, I don't think our year three draft was very good. I'll just say that that was, that was kind of a bust, but you know, when you're picking that low in the order, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Greg says, I agree with Bradley move. And in my opinion, the Reyes trade was the best because I'm a Cubs fan and you're Nostradamus. <laughs> Dude, it's just nuts though. 
Like, come on. You do that, you do Matt Harvey in, in Reds and MLB 18. Who did I do in 19? No. Yeah, no. Rangers in 19. Oh, yeah, Nate Nate Lowe. Like, we, uh, we acquired Nate Lowe. <laughs> I forgot about that one. You guys should go back and watch that series. We um, acquired Nate Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe from the Tampa Bay Rays. <laughs> he was, so look at this. He made his major league debut in 2019, right? For Tampa Bay. So long before he made his 50 game debut, it was like in the, it was like in 2019 spring. So he was, I think he was like a September call up for Tampa Bay. But we traded for him in our Rangers franchise. We traded for him. He was like a bench guy for us for a little while. And then I called him up. And he was a part of our bench in that series. <laughs> and then, you know, two years later, here comes Nate Lowe. He's a Ranger. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> Who's watching this stuff? Who's watching these videos? These MLB execs are like, we... We're watching. We're watching this channel. <laughs> but there's been some that have been wrong, obviously. Um, what are some other moves that, that I've done? Let me think. Um, like Jesse Winker stays with the Reds. Suarez stays with the Reds. You know, there's been stuff that has been wrong, too. Like, you know, it's you're not trying to do it to to be right or anything you're just thinking that this is a smart move this is a smart move this is a good move for the organization for what we're trying to do in the series and then when it happens you know you're just like whoa that's crazy <laughs> i should start you know what i should do but then the pressure will start being on the pressure starts getting on when you start making a video series of it because then you're not doing it for fun. You're, you Then you're starting to get into like the nitty gritty and all the details and stuff. And you're like, th then that's when stuff gets wrong. You get like way wrong. You know? So, I don't know. You don't you don't want that kind of pressure. Because then you start to, you're starting to make videos and then you start overanalyzing and overthinking it. And you're like, yeah, that's, that's this is what's going to happen. And then, you know, a year from now, nobody's watching the video anyway. Nobody remembers it anyway. So nobody's watching that. <laughs> All right, so I, I love our team. I love the moves we've made, and that's your playoff bracket. So we've got the Padres next episode. Should be posted on Tuesday. So we'll get the one-game playoff. Do you got a question? And I'll, um, I will pose this question for you guys in the chat, and I'll pose it for those of you that are just coming in to watch. Maybe you're watching the replay here. Post in the comment section if you want me to live stream the wild card. Or do you just want it to be a regular video? It's kind of what, I mean, if it's a regular video, it's going to be about an eight minute, eight minute deal. Live stream, it'll be a full on hour and a half. Probably not even that, probably just an hour. But I think the pressure, I think it would be kind of fun to do a uh, live stream. But you guys let me know. So thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow with some team builder action with Yoel Monroe, Cajun 6 Dynasty. If you guys are watching that, I'm not sure. But, yep, that's what's coming on Saturday. And uh, then Sunday we got more Saints, more Saints franchise. So, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Leave a like if you like this thing. See you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching, and peace.